Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, this was a hell of a night for you, Nyla. Really breakout night, I thought. How did it feel to be out there? Feel the energy of that crowd getting behind you like that? Especially some of those big spots where you caught both those women off the top rope there. Yeah, uh, it's it's always great. Uh, they, it's a cliche ad nauseum, trite saying, but you know we feed off the electricity of the crowd 100 um, percent you're backstage you got the jitters going uh, that nervous energy what do you do with that energy is what matters when you get out there in front of the crowd you kind of feed off of them and, and they give you the strength to get through it um, so to answer your question absolutely incredible <laughs> Now, can you talk about your entrance, and are you actually a Killer Instinct fan? Because I, I sense a little <laughs> Black Orchid tonight for me. <laughs> yeah, damn straight. Um, way back, old school on the SNES, um, I, I immediately connected with the Orchid, and she's been my main since uh, day one. <laughs> now, well, you had so many great spots in that match. Did you have a favorite? Uh, I'd tell you which one was my least favorite. <laughs> um, the one where Riho, you know, I don't know. What she did, she's quick, she's spry. Uh, she, she got the better of me tonight. Big enough to say that, but um, you know, we'll see what time, time tells. As more people start to know your story the last couple of weeks, what has that been like? What kind of feedback have you gotten? Uh, the same. <laughs> Small minds have big mouths, or I guess in this case, large hands. They type a lot. Um, so, so it's it's been a little bit of the same. But I think you know, I like to think with tonight, maybe a few people are like, okay, she's she's the real deal. There's there's a reason I'm here. What do you think you're able to accomplish in tonight's match that you maybe weren't able to accomplish in Double or Nothing? Uh, make a statement. Make a statement. And I don't necessarily know that I didn't accomplish anything at Double or Nothing. Uh, yeah, they, you know, Brandy swerved us. She gave us a nice surprise with Awesome Kong. But who took Awesome Kong out single handedly? You know, that was my first statement. Tonight was my second statement. You know, she had a good moment. Awesome, great for her. But this is all elite, you know? Anything's possible. Time will tell. Is so, it frustrating? It seemed like a two on one handicap match tonight more than just a. a Three person. Right? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's because we're at CEO, if they're playing games at the head office. I don't know what all that's about. But uh, like I said, you know, I made a statement of double or nothing. I made a statement tonight. And if these shenanigans keep up, I'm going to make another statement. And a lot of people are going to be very unhappy. Nyla, in terms of style, a lot of people compare you to Awesome Kong. What do you, say, what do you say to those comparisons? And how do you feel about possibly getting in a ring with her in a one-on-one -on -one match? Bring it. I want that. I want that. She stole my shine. I'm 100% blaming her. She stole my shine. She showed up as a fourth entrance in a three-way match. Was not advertised. I want that. Nyla, does that mean you have also problems with Brandy as well? I don't know what I'm legally allowed to say. I'll have to talk to my lawyer, but yes. I was talking to Capital Wrestling's Matthew Ryan earlier this week, and I know you have some history there, and he said you're one of the funniest people he's ever talked to. Are you looking forward to showing more of your personality beyond just being a powerhouse in AEW? What do you think? <laughs> you tell me. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, it's who I am. I, I, just, I just put it out there. I am who I am. Either you like me, you love me, or you hate me, but at the end of the day, you're going to remember me. How much fun is it for you guys as a division to – be able to start building these stories and know in the fall you're going to be able to start building them weekly. Absolutely exciting. I, I don't think I'm excited for anything else this year, quite frankly. Um, it's, it's really nice to get, get the opportunity to kind of really, truly express your art. I'm used to being a cog in a machine and, and playing my part, and here there's really none of that. It's like, all right, well, you know, this is the match you have. This is what this was going on, but... You know, you want to wear KI gear? Go out there, wear KI gear, express yourself. So I love that. For the casual fans who might be seeing you for the first or second time in the past few months, what can you tell the, the casual fan about what you expect to bring going forward? You are in for a treat. <laughs> I, cliche, there's no one out there like me. You know, I, I, can, I got the mean streak, I can be funny. You never know what you're going to get with me. Mouth gets me in trouble. Bad Nyla. But, <laughs> At the end of the day, like I said, you will remember my name. After what you have accomplished here in the business on AAW, how the women's wrestlers around the world in the business, you know, have, have been getting along with you? Uh, overall, they've been getting along great. Um, you know, I've, I've wrestled, I think, 
every corner of the globe. I've wrestled people from Australia, from China, from Japan, uh, Mexico, uh, Brazil. The list could go on, you know, forever. Um, you know, I, I, I meld with people. You know, I, I love people. At the end of the day, I love people. Um, now, if you're standing across the ring from me, I don't love you in that moment. I got a job to do. But uh, like I said, the world over, we cool. Uh, AEW has floated the idea of women's tag team titles. I mean, is there any woman that you see yourself working well with that you'd like to tag with? In the roster as it stands right now, um, honestly, no. Um, you know, they, they, everybody has, has something to bring to the table. Absolutely. I don't want to discredit them. They absolutely earn their position here. I just have personal feelings about a few people, a few of the roster members, and honestly, I'd rather go out there and do it myself. Take me back to when you first got the phone call that you were going to be part of this roster. What were your initial thoughts and kind of how have things been going the last couple of months as you're building and you're kind of starting from scratch a company and you're being a part of that? Uh, just to kind of like summarize that, I didn't believe it was real at first and clearly looking at all your beautiful faces, it's absolutely real. Um, it, it, it's, it's sinking in slowly but surely by me day by day by day um, and, and I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world. All right guys, last question please. Uh, the Young Bucks channeled Street Fighter. Were you channeling Street Fighter tonight? Was that a Jade inspired outfit you were wearing <laughs> in the ring tonight? <laughs> Jade, that, well that's Mortal Kombat. Oh that's right, sorry, my bad. I, I blew it. Shun, shun. I'm the pro wrestling guy, not the video game guy. <laughs> no, that was definitely Beat Orchid from Killer Instinct. Okay, sorry, my bad. 100%. You, Thank you, guys. I got you. I got you. I don't Thank know. Thank you, guys. It's all good. I need to know.